Hi, my name is Frank DeMora. I'm the author of this book, The Last Chronicles of Planet Earth. It's a documentary on Bible prophecy and current events. I want to come to you today and introduce myself to you. For those that are already coming to the website, obviously you know my name is Frank DeMora. For those who haven't come yet, this may be your first time, I want to welcome you and ask that you read the material because I know that God will speak through you through all the prophecies and all the current events that were prophesied that are actually happening right now. And so it is my privilege to be blessed in this way, to come into your homes, to be able to, to preach the good news of Jesus Christ and to give you hope. The blessed hope of Jesus is coming soon. Before he left, he gave us specific information about what was going to happen in the end times. And my whole book is loaded with documents to prove that every single word that Jesus gave to us has been fulfilled and it is being fulfilled as we, as, uh, as we see through the news. Um, I want to share a couple things that are going on with, with the people in the audience today. And hopefully in the near future I'll be doing more of these videos so that you can come to the videos and uh, if you don't want to read the, the website, which is detailed information, you can view the videos. Recently, in the news, and this has to, everything that I'm going to be giving to you now, you have to understand, it's in the news. And it's in prophecy. And what my mission is, is I'm connecting the dots between Bible prophecy, the Word of God, and the warnings of Christ, and the prophets. Then what I'm doing is showing you the, the news and the documentation to show you that those words have been fulfilled. I'm going to read you some headlines because everything that I'm going to give to you today is on my website. So you can get it in detail and I don't want to go into that so you can actually read it there. But I want to give you some information. It says in this article, the UN chief calls for a global leadership. Another one from the Washington Times. Foreign economics urge a global plan. Another one. The Wall Street Journal. Deeper crisis would call for global solution. FT.com news from the world news. U.S. will lose fi uh, financial superpower status. Spiegel Online. This is from a Europe, the international says, America loses its dominant economic role. Now, I want to read a part of this because this is very important. The banking crisis is upending America's dominance of the financial markets and political and world politics. The industrialized countries are sliding into a recession. The era of turbo capitalism is coming to an end, and the U.S. military might is ebbing. Still, there is no time to glow. You're going to understand why I'm reading these. China's paper urges new currency order after a financial tsunami. Another one from the UK. Germany takes hot seat as Europe falls into the abyss in reference to the global economy crisis. Uh, it says, we face extreme danger unless there is immediate intervention on every front of all the major powers acting in concert. We risk a disintegration of global finance within days. Nobody be, will be spared unless they own gold bars. You're going to see why this is very important because in Revelation chapter 18 around January, February, I told the people what was going to happen with gold before the prices went up. Now, you'll understand this and I, and I plead with you, go to my website and read why it's so important because it does say right there in the book of Revelation that they will cry over the gold that they're going to lose. Here's another one from the Telegraph UK. Global financial crisis does the world, or I'm sorry, global finance crisis, it says, does the world need a new banking policeman? Also, we have Barlasconi, who was the, the Prime Minister of Italy, stated, the idea of suspending the markets for a time, for a time it takes to re rewrite the, the rules, will be addressed. Barlusconi said today that it, after a cabinet meeting in Naples, Italy, the solution of the financial crisis can't just be for one country or even for just Europe. 
but global. Now, what's happening with all this, as you can see from the news, the stock market is going up and down. It's crashing. There's a global meltdown that started with the subprime loans in America. It's transposed now and had the domino effect across every single nation in this world. And right now, the leaders from all over the world are surging to get a global policy, to get something in place that will allow a facilitate a global network, a base in a structure that we know that will be fulfill, fulfillment of what Jesus said in Revelation chapter 13, where he said that one man would come. He would control the economy. And the way he was going to do this is that he was going to force everybody to receive a mark in the right hand and their forehead. And if you didn't take this, you would be X'd out of the world economy. You wouldn't be able to buy anything and you wouldn't be able to sell anything. And the, the articles that I just read to you now are footsteps to bring us to the exact point where Jesus said that the man would come out of the European Union, which is the exact um, fulfillment of the Bible prophecy as in relation to the book of Daniel where he said in the last days the Roman Empire would come. The European Union is fulfillment of that. Also, one of the major keys is homosexuality. In Matthew's Gospel 24, Jesus said in the last days it would be just like the days of Noah, and it is. Connecticut, high court rules gay couples can marry. That just came out. Um, also, Florida is going to be voting November 4th to make gay marriages legal there. Also, California on November 4th will be again voting on that issue. We see that everything that Christ told us that was going to happen has already happened. Also, in different areas, earthquakes. For the last two months, we've had major earthquakes, big earthquakes. China, Japan, different places across the country. The, uh, the ring of fire. I even told the people when the Lord, the Lord revealed to me that the ring of fire was going to be active. Two days later, Japan and China had major earthquakes. Jesus also specified in Matthew 24 that disease, major diseases would come. In Revelation it says millions were going to die because of disease and starvation and famines. We see the beginning of all that taking place right now. Uh, farm duck positive for H5N1, which is the bird flu, it was just discovered again in Germany. And for the first time, when you go to my website, you'll find out that there was a case just recently where the bird flu was transmitted from human to human. Up until this point, it's always been from the bird to the human, but now it's different. Now I want to say to you that all these things are coming to place at the same time in one generation. And Jesus in Matthew 24 told us, when you see all these things, know that it's near, even at the doors. And so when you come to my website, you're going to get every documentation you can possibly get to show you everything that Jesus said was going to happen is happening right now. The signs of the times, that's what I'm talking about. So again, I want to thank you for coming, and I want to encourage to tell your friends to bring others to come. And I want you to come and please rate the video. Rate and subscribe to my, uh, to my videos, and you'll be really informed. And thank you for allowing me to come into your homes for me to bless you in this way. It is my privilege to serve you and uh, your friends that you bring in the, in the Lord Jesus Christ. It's my commission to help you to meet the Lord in the sky because he is coming soon. Thank you very much for coming.